Steel City Drones is proud to bring you this multi-video comparison between the two biggest Pro-Line drones on the market, the Freefly Alta and the DJI Matrice 600. In this video series, we will have a complete in-depth analysis between the two drones. Dave King of Steel City Drones has been building and flying drones for over five years with thousands of logged flights. Dave has built and flown drones of all different sizes and configurations and has logged many flight hours of each drone that we are comparing today. So to get started, let's talk about what this video is going to evaluate. We're going to compare the following factors, such as ready to fly, overall quality, ease of operation, overall performance, gimbal options, gimbal performance, upgradability, customer service, and value for cost. After each section, we are going to give each drone an overall grade from 1 to 10, with 10 being the best it can receive for each factor. Since numbers can be subjective, we're going to explain why we gave the grade we did. We start our comparison by looking at what you get when your copter arrives. The Freefly Alta is shipped in a very nice quality shipping case. And with the exception of just a few radio adjustments, it's essentially ready to fly. The M600 on the other hand is far from ready to fly. It's essentially a kit that needs completely assembled. It took us about four hours to assemble the M600. The next thing we are comparing is the quality of the components. When you pick up the Freefly Alta, you realize that it's a solid, thick drone. The Alta's motors are well constructed and quiet, but they are not sealed or water resistant. We were pretty disappointed with the overall construction of the M600. The boom locks are made of plastic. However, the locks are very positive, and I don't think that they're going to come unlocked during in-flight. Lastly, we were pretty disappointed in the overall thickness and construction of the carbon fiber main hub. The M600's motors are also very well constructed and quiet. They are sealed and appear to be water resistant. For portability, both drones are well designed to be transported. The M600 does not come with a shipping case and the booms fold straight down, which requires a bigger, taller shipping case. As for the readiness to fly, the M600 got a three because it comes as a kit that needs a lot of assembly before it can fly. The majority of the main hub is assembled, so it's not like building a complete drone from scratch, but it does require a lot of work before it's ready to fly. For the Alta 6, we gave a nine, simply because it's pretty much ready to fly. With the quality of frame and construction, we gave the M600 a four because of the thin carbon fiber and because of the plastic boom blocks. The next thing we want to compare is ease of operation. With the Freefly Alta, it's extremely important that the copter does not move while it's first powering up and initializing. There's a service bolton that states the copter can go out of control and crash if the copter is spinning at all during that power up process. So if you use the Alta with a Movi gimbal, you're gonna to have to wedge the Movi in a way so that the Alta does not spin even the slightest. The Alta also needs to be armed every time before you fly by taking the left stick to the bottom right position. Landing the Alta can also be a bit tricky. Free fly essentially wants you to land in manual mode. If you want to land in position hold or altitude hold modes, you'll need to land, keep the throttle at the lowest possible position, while at the same time changing the mode switch from position hold to manual mode. The DJI GO app is very intuitive and allows you to monitor all important flight data very easily at your fingertips. You can also change camera settings on the fly very easily. The Alta does have an app, but it's more for setup, tuning, monitoring, and or updating firmware. It does not give you a camera signal or allow you to change camera settings so it's not very practical for use while filming. Very limited telemetry goes back to the Alta's radio, 
So if you want more flight data, you have to purchase a separate FPV system. For ease of operation, we gave a very high score to the M600 as it shines in every way possible. You simply turn it on and it's ready to fly. The best part of it is the easy to use DJI app that allows you to change camera settings on the fly very easily. With the Alta on the other hand, you have to worry about it not spinning during initializing, have to arm it after every flight, and make sure the position of multiple switches is set correctly when taking off and landing. Most importantly, it's very difficult to change camera settings while the Alta is in the air. Let's talk about flight performance. To make things as fair as possible, and for a true apples to apples comparison, we flew both copters using all factory settings. The Alta 6 had a very hard time in the wind. We used the M600 to serve as a wind machine to visually demonstrate how the Alta would respond to sudden wind conditions. As soon as the M600 flew anywhere close to the Alta, its prop wash caused the Alta to drop several feet in altitude. We tried the same test by flying the Alta close to the M600 to see if the M600's altitude would drop like the Alta did. Not only did the M600 maintain altitude, the Alta was the one that dropped altitude from the M600's prop wash. The Alta 6 really struggled with ground effect and would often drop altitude several feet, which would not be a good thing if you're trying to do low tracking shots over water. We then wanted to compare how each model tracks going straight. We used a pylon as an aiming mark and had each copter fly directly to it. Again, the Alta struggled a lot and would drop altitude. We were just blown away by the M600 performance going straight and low. We never flew a copter that performed this well. The M600 flew dead straight toward the pylon and held altitude solid as low as two feet off the ground. You can get up to 35 minute flight time with a set of batteries on the M600 if you fly the X5 camera. With the Alta, you're most likely going to use two large 10,000 milliamp batteries and going to give you about 14 to 17 minute flight time. The DJI M600 batteries plug directly into the M600, which has several advantages. For starters, there are no plugs or wires that wear down from the constant plugging and unplugging of changing batteries. With the M600, you don't have to worry about mounting the batteries in a precise location for proper center of gravity. On the Alta, mounting the batteries as little as half an inch in the wrong direction can affect the copter's CG and flight performance. We broke overall performance down to four separate categories. The first function is the ability to hover and stay planted. We gave the M600 with the stock GPS system an 8, and when fitted with the RTK system, we gave it a perfect grade of 10. We then averaged the grades together. The RTK GPS system hovers within a few centimeters of movement and is truly a tripod in the sky. Both drones tested well with their stock GPS systems and were typical results of the performance you get with consumer-based GPS systems. The Altus position hold performance was not as good in the wind as the M600. Smoothness of flight is next, and we found the M600 to be absolutely the smoothest drone we have ever flown. The motors are quiet and don't appear to counteract each other, which results in very smooth flight movements. We found the Alta smoother than most heavy-built heavy lifters, but the motors do seem to work hard and counteract each other especially a lot in position hold with any amount of wind. Which brings us to wind performance. The M600 gets an outstanding grade, especially in RTK mode where the altitude hold was rock solid. The Alta 6 gets about as low of a grade as we can give. The results speak for themselves as shown by the video footage. In our opinion, this kind of performance is nowhere near acceptable for this price level. Our results with the Alta 6 are not isolated. Several colleagues of mine that also own an Alta 6 have reported very similar wind performance issues. With flight time, we gave the M600 a good grade, but we were a little disappointed in the flight times we were getting, considering that it did take six batteries. When fitted with an X5 raw camera, 
We were seeing about 27 minutes of flight time, landing with 25% charge remaining. This is a bit lower than the advertised 30 minutes using the X5 RAW camera. And we saw this performance on four different sets of batteries. When testing the Alta 6, we were seeing about 19 minute flight times carrying no gimbal. When we were flying a Canon 5D with a Movi 5, we were typically seeing 15 minute flight times, which is about on par with older custom built heavy lifters. This brings us to the end of part one of our comparison. Please watch part two for the rest of the comparison between these two drones. If you like the detailed comparison we performed, let our experience help you with your drone needs. Steel City Drones offers complete sales, support, and training. We customize each drone purchase by creating a video for each customer so they can see their drone in action. We explain all the features and functions of the drone just like you were there standing right next to us. We also offer personalized drone training sessions to train you to fly like a professional. Contact us for more details.